welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I am Kathy, and I try things and I give you my two cents. I'm trying something new at Sonic. My brother-in-law Jeremy's still in town. I said, "Come try it with me." Hello. Because there is a spicy version. Yeah. And he's more into spice than I am. So they have two new items. It's the steak and bacon grilled cheese, and the spicy steak and bacon grilled cheese. So I'm going for it. Well, I'll try both. We'll cut on. Are you going to try the spicy one too? I will try it. But you never know. Sometimes I surprise yeah. myself. I'll try anything. She might Sometimes like it. Sometimes they're not as spicy as what right. they make them out to be. Right. So the steak, bacon, and cheese has just that. It's Texas toast, grilled steak, grilled onions, bacon, honey barbecue, uh, mayo, and sliced cheese. And that is what this is, I believe. Tasty? No, this is the spicy one. Oh. The spicy one has Texas toast, grilled steak, grilled onions, bacon, jalapenos, zesty cheese sauce, sliced cheese, um, and mayo. So no, no barbecue. Add zesty Jalapen cheese and jalapenos. jalapenos. Yeah. So all right. So here it is. Oof, this one looks a little messier. Mm. The barbecue sauce. Bacon. Not very crispy bacon. If no, I was just gonna say I'm a <laughs> I'm a crispy bacon guy, so yeah. the fatty bacon right yeah. there completely turns me off. But yeah. I think the spicy one looked like it had crispier bacon. Yeah, yeah. it does. That's yeah. perfect. That's perfect, perfectly cooked bacon. That's not a lot of steak, though. I mean, no. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna cut part of this. Off. You want to try the other ones, both of them, or not? Sure. Oh, I see, it. I see some jalapenos. Oh, it, it, looks, it looks good. There's the, yeah. See it, or... oh, that one might be good with barbecue. I don't know. Maybe it's too much. I'm just going to take this little piece. Does it have the jalapeno in it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I think I need a better knife than this thing. There's no. I will put it's a not a good sign if you can't cut through steak, though. That's true. That's true. So, do we go with the spicy first? Sure. You gotta cut, why not? Oof. There you go. Oh, you're giving me the big one. Big I'm just, giant I'm just one? taking this little this little piece here. Okay. You See ready? the cheese sauce? Yeah. See it all. Bacon on there. Mmm. Not bad. I like the flavor. Flavor. I get the cheese the zesty cheese sauce. Yeah, one. I was just gonna say I think I really like that zesty cheese sauce. The steak is The steak is pretty good. I don't know if I actually got any of the, like, mm. I think I taste the cheese sauce. Let me try it on this one. Take another bite. So this one has the barbecue sauce. And the, the fatty bacon. <laughs> I don't get anything spicy except for the jalapenos, but it, it's really good. It's good crispy bacon. I like the steak. And there's the... Oh, I like it. And it's not, the, the steak also isn't fatty. I don't like right. fatty steak either. There's just not a lot of it. Especially on that one. Right, there's this look, is like less half. on that one. <laughs> which is weird. Right. Hmm. Oh, here's that one if you want to try that one. Sure. I like the spicy one. It's good. I'm trying to think if I've had steak from Sonic. Sonic. I don't know if they've had one before. All right, so this has... And I don't know if I noticed the mayo on the first one. I did. You yeah, did? I got a little mayo, which I, I just love. Got the, so the zesty cheese sauce more so. I'm going in. All right. Hmm. Well, I thought about the barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce flavor instantly turned me off, mm -hmm. which is weird because I like barbecue sauce. <clears throat> yeah, I think I like the zesty cheese the, sauce. The zesty, the... the spicy one is way better. See, I surprised myself. I yeah. like this, that one better. Yeah, it is. It's better. And I don't oh. know, it depends who's cooking it, I guess, but there was more on it. Yeah. I don't even taste the steak. All I taste is barbecue sauce it and onion. It's very salty to me. Mm. I like the spicy one. Yeah, I'm going to try the, just the, try to get just the meat, the steak. I ate just a piece of meat. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Oh, 
not bad. It's not a, maybe all the salt's coming from the bacon. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's not a ton of seasoning on it or anything, but. I think even if you don't like, like order it without the jalapenos. If you take the jalapenos off, I don't think it's spicy. The no. cheese sauce has a good flavor. You can still get the mayo. I like it. Yeah. Much better. The cheese sauce adds something to it. And the barbecue sauce takes away from it. It does. It really mm -hmm. does. Clearly it's good because I can't stop eating right. it. Right. So you don't have any Sonics, correct, by you? No. No. Up where I am up north or no Sonics. Are they in Wisconsin at all? Yeah, I think there's some in the Madison, okay. middle of the state area. Okay, so this was um, four ninety nine. So what do you think? For each? Yeah. Yeah, that's not. I don't think that's bad. I think the spicy one was definitely more <laughs> worth it than. Yeah, I think if I wasn't feeling spice one day and I ordered the other one, I would have been disappointed. Yeah. But then again, we didn't have anything to compare it to. True. Comparing it to the. One with the cheese sauce and mayo was really good. Of course, we got drinks, but order on the app and get them half price. Oh, nice. um, so for the steak and bacon grilled cheese, on a rating from one to five, what do you give it? A one. <laughs> from really? one, well, if it's one to five, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't, I, I would not, I would not order that. I would not get that again. I did not like the flavor. It was better than a one. Uh, <laughs> I would give it one and a half. <laughs> a two and a half. I just think the barbecue sauce. There's something about that it I don't threw, like. Yeah, that's that threw me right instantly. Yeah. All right. What about the spicy steak and bacon grilled cheese? Is that what they're called? Why can't I get this name? I don't know. What the hell is that? I'm gonna say a four. Oh, it's a dumpster. Dumpsters. Um, yeah, I, I'm saying a four. Yeah, the spicy steak and bacon grilled cheese. Out of um, five, yeah. Out of five. I like it. I, I, I would know. order it again. I definitely would order it again. I'll give it a 4.3. Sure. 4.4, .4, that was good. Yeah, and I think if, like you said, if you're not in the mood for the spice, just take the jalapenos yeah. off, and it, it's still really flavorful. Yeah, I think the, the zesty cheese sauce, it just gives it some... Flavor. flavor a little a little kick there okay. yeah so i would recommend the spicy one see i i went out of my car because if i would if you would have been here i probably wouldn't have got the spicy one right so i would have been giving this a big thumbs down but i'm glad i glad you were here mm -hmm. me too because <laughs> it was good yeah. not a, a big fan of onions yeah. and i like i don't mind them but they like this where they're where they're grilled yeah. and they don't have a really strong flavor but there's still that onion flavor. No, I didn't even notice them on. <clears throat> I know that, but that's what I like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could have used more. I, I don't like strong flavored onions. I don't even see them on that regular one. Really? Yeah. Well, that was my other thing on the regular one was the fatty bacon. I don't know why that is. Why did I have fatty bacon on the regular one and crispy bacon on the spicy one? That's probably what they grabbed, I guess. That's probably true. Yeah, it's supposed to be grilled onions on both, but I don't. Hmm. Anyway, it was the barbecue sauce that killed it anyway. Yeah. And the fatty bacon. But... Alright. Since it is almost Christmas, I thought it would be fun to do a little trivia with you. Uh oh. Alright, so are you ready? So I have ten, 10 questions for you. Are they Christmas themed? Yes. Oh boy. All Christmas. You got some movie questions. Alright. And then I have a bonus. By the way, you get nothing for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just bragging rights. It's free lunch? <laughs> yes, you already got it though. Yes. So at home, so feel free to pause if you need to think about the question or um, yeah, let me know how you do it in the comments below. So there's 10 questions and a bonus. Okay. So the bonus, you get five points. The other ones you get one. All right. In the Christmas song, Last Christmas, who does the singer give their heart to? Um, I'm trying to think of the song. I, I, I can't think of the song. <laughs> I'm not going to sing to you. <clears throat> Come on, Kathy, sing no, it. No, I'm not going to sing. Um, I should have this on the timer. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know uh, Santa Claus. All right, we will come back for the answers. Okay. So. If Elvis isn't going to have a white Christmas, what type of Christmas is he going to have? What? <laughs> I don't know anything about Christmas. Elvis did Christmas. What song did? What Christmas song did he do? In the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> um, blue suede shoe Christmas. I. Can you get rid of the? Oh, blue suede? blue Christmas. Blue Christmas. I thought this was like an easy one. I... All right. I know Elvis, but not Christmas, I guess. In the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. Oh, boy. I... <laughs> no. <laughs> what is given on the seventh day? <laughs> uh, I really thought these I know were super a easy. Partridge in a pear tree somewhere. Yes. Uh, there's something about drummers drumming. Yes. I'm saying drum, drums, drummers. All right, we'll go back to that one. <laughs> How many reindeers uh. <laughs> pull Santa's sleigh? Um... Nine. Very good. All right. Oh, I was uh, going to give the answer for yes. Kind of a guess. Can you name them? Rudolph. Like Dancer, Prancer. Is there another one that rhymes with that? Um, yeah. Oh, boy. There's nine? Yes. <laughs> you have three. <laughs> um, on, think of the song. Oh, I guess you can't think of the song. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking on Dancer, on Prancer, <laughs> and I already named those. Uh, on Donner. Donner, Blitzen. Mm -hmm. I said Rudolph. Valentine's. What? Like Valentine's Day. Oh, I was going to say there's one named Valentine's? Oh. Cupid. Cupid. Nice. That's a good hint. Uh, space. Comet. Yes. <laughs> I think you got it all. All right. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer. Oh, I didn't say Vixen. Dasher. Oh. Dasher. All right, you get no point for that. Um, this is bad. <laughs> this, <laughs> I thought these were so easy. Well, they are if you know Christmas All stuff. Right. I'm, I'm a bah humbug. Yeah, you are. Yeah. What does Santa's belly shake like? I don't remember this is even that as a, a kid. Song too? Yes. Or in a story. A bowl of jello. <laughs> a bowl full of jelly. Is that what it is? Yes. Oh, it's close jello. enough. Jelly okay, jello. Okay. All right. Which U.S. state has a town called Santa Claus? Um, Tennessee. No. Uh, Tennessee has a bunch of weird themed cities. Dude. Santa Claus, Alabama? No. Michigan? No. Iowa? <laughs> no. Uh, I know there's a hell, Michigan. There is a holiday world is in this city. I don't know. Or in the state. Is. In this Santa Claus. Indiana. Indiana. I, I would have got there eventually. If you go to the States. <laughs> all right. So, all right. What is the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time? Ooh. But this is kind of a two-parter or a controversial question because some people disagree that this is not a Christmas movie. Oh. And I know what you're thinking. You're well, no, I'm thinking, like, there's a couple that hit my mind when you say some people disagree it's a Christmas movie. Die Hard is one, because that's an awesome movie, and it's not... Is it really Christmassy? I mean, it happens around Christmas, so that's right. probably why they say that. I, I think I still think Home Alone isn't a Christmas movie, even though people say it is, because, again, it happens around Christmas. But that's what that's the highest grossing. That's it is? Home yeah. Alone? Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And you say it's not. I, I don't I, know. I, I guess I they really say don't it's care. a Christmas movie, I mean, but so does any movie that has a scene where it's Christmas, Christmas. time. Is that considered a Christmas movie? That I don't know how you deem that. Oh jeez! <laughs> In the movie <laughs> Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Oh, I've seen it. Oh, it's based on a real life department store. What is it? Well, in the movie, and the one I watched, because I think they've done like six of them. It should all be the same. Oh, are they? In the movie, it it was it was Coles, but it's not the Coles you're thinking of. It's mm. not K O H L. It was like C O L E. That was in the movie. Um, really? Uh, what's an old famous department store like? Uh, think of a parade. Oh, Macy's. Yes. I might have got there. Now this one. We just talked about this the other night. You should get it. Oh, boy. What is Ralphie's little brother's name in A Christmas Story? Oh, yeah. Um, Randy. Yes, yes. And we watched the new one. Well, that's a Christmas movie. 
We watched the new Christmas, what's it called? Christmas Story Christmas or? Yeah, Christmas Story Christmas. Anyway, it was, we both thought it was going to suck. Yeah. It was actually, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. All right, bonus question. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know. Okay, it's a bonus question for you because that'll share. Yeah, this isn't really working. Yeah, yeah it's not. <laughs> How many gifts in total were given in the 12 Days of Christmas song? Do you even have a guess? Well, why wouldn't it be 12? Because well, there's multiple day. things. Right, right. Oh, so you just do 12 plus 11 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8. So seven, what's the six, answer? Five. I don't know. I can't do math that fast. All right. Let me go back to the other ones that I didn't get. <laughs> All right. The song gave their heart to someone special. Yeah, I can kind of think of that song. And it's, I, I gave you my heart or something like that. But who, who did gave it they give it to? Gave it to someone special. Oh, it's just someone yes. special. Oh, I thought you were still quizzing me. No. All right. Well, so Santa Claus technically was right because he's someone special. Oh, okay. <laughs> On the seventh day, seven swans are swimming. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you got the reindeer, bowl full of jelly. Well, and the days. Had to help me with yeah, the reindeer. The days, 364, I mean, gifts total oh, okay. for the days of Christmas. Adam, all right. All right, so that did not go well. <laughs> I'm usually not that bad at trivia, but I prefer a different category. Okay, all right, good to know. Easter, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now I have a feeling you'd be worse at that. I think I would, yeah. yeah. So let me know how you did in the comments below. I have a feeling it was probably it was better probably than better than me. me. There's got to be people out there that do just as good, if not worse, than me. <laughs> maybe some Jewish people. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right, I really appreciate you watching, and thank you again, Jeremy. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.